Hello, my name is John Lee and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting and I have a great passion for preparing people for ASQ certification exams. But today, we're going to answer the question, how do I become a Six Sigma Yellow Belt? That's a great question. And so let's get started. Step one is get the desire, obviously. Hopefully you have the desire by coming to this website and the prerequisites. So get the desire and fulfill the prerequisites. What are the prerequisites for the Six Sigma Yellow Belt? Well, I went right to the ASQ website to learn about this, and it says, the certified Six Sigma Yellow Belt has no experience or education requirements. So if you want to become a Six Sigma Yellow Belt, whatever your situation, you can sign up today and go take that. Now, that may change over time. I don't think it will, but uh, before you go take the test, you should check in on this information to make sure everything's has make sure nothing has changed and there's the link right there step two prepare to take the exam now this is the most time-consuming element of becoming certified uh, I hope you'll consider taking one of my classes I have an excellent class to get you certified to the Six Sigma Yellow Belt uh, ASQ certification exam so visit my website at www.asq CSSYB, meaning Certified Six Sigma Yellow Belt, dot com, to learn more about uh, my online class. Step three, once you're all, now you're all prepared, you've met the requirements, you've prepared yourself by taking a class and learning how to pass the test. Next step, sign up for the ASQ Certified Six Sigma Yellow Belt exam. And I have a uh, lecture on this, watch my video entitled, How to Sign Up for an ASQ Exam. It's about seven minutes long, but it goes through everything you need to do to sign up and fulfill step three. Now, at the time of this recording, this one is on the January cycle. What ASQ does is they offer the exam for Six Sigma Yellow Belt every other month, but it starts with January. Then, of course, the next one will skip March, and the next one is or February, and then March will be our next one. What will be the next one? Well, we go March, skip April, May. Then skip June, July will be the next one. So it's every other month throughout the year. And it's usually the first week, and then they'll give you a week or two that, uh, window to take the test. So be sure and listen to that. It's, uh, there's too much to go over on how to sign up for an ASQ exam to do it in this lecture. So listen to that video. Uh, and step four, take the ASQ exam. Now, what's the pass rate for the Six Sigma Yellow Belt? It's the third most has the third most highest pass rate, so that's a good thing. It's not one of ASQ's more difficult exams. 75% of the students pass that. Uh, again, it's the third highest pass rate in ASQ exams. And I estimate that it's going to take you 66 hours to prepare for this certification. Again, that's according to my, the class that I offer, the online class. So that's some good information. Step five, of course, pass the ASQ exam and celebrate. It's a great thing to become ASQ certified. I have many of their certifications. As you can see here, I have most of their certifications. Not all, but most of them. Uh, hopefully, you'll consider taking that class from my company. You can learn more by going to www.alphatc.com. And if you'd like to contact me, go to Contact Us option there and send me a message. And uh, I would love to hear from you. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.